Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. I'm gonna show you a pretty cool feature in ProPresenter 7 where you can actually play two different videos at once. So let me explain. Uh, so there's a couple different reasons why you might wanna do this. You might wanna play one video in the room and you might wanna play one video for uh, your internet stream. So you could do uh, something there. We had a unique example at one of our kids' gatherings. So we do video worship. So we had um, you know, the kids sing along to video worship we had one video that was meant for the kids that was a lyric video that just had the lyrics and fun music. And then we had a second video that went along with that that actually explained to the leaders how to do all the hand motions that they need to do. So what we did was, is we were able to, in ProPresenter, play both those videos at the same time. We were able to play the lyric video on the main TVs so all the kids could see it. And then on the stage display, we are actually able to play uh, the video that explains the motions so that the leaders on the stage could see those and remember the motions. So it was a pretty cool uh, use case. So today I'm just going to illustrate this using two different countdown videos because uh, that's what I have in my media library just so you can kind of see how it works and you can use it however you want. So I'm going to jump over to ProPresenter and show you how this works. So we're going to start by making, uh, we're going to go to configure screens and we're going to make a new screen. So I have my lower, this is my setup. I have my lower thirds and alpha screen. I have a video screen, which is full screen video. Those are all going to my video switcher. And then I have my stage screen set up. So I'm gonna make a new audience screen and we can just do this using a placeholder. So I now have a new screen and I'm gonna name this second video. All right, so that's all you gotta do there is just make a, a new placeholder screen so you have a place to put that video. All right, now we're gonna make a look. So we're gonna to go to Edit Looks, and I'm gonna add a look called Two Videos. All right, in this look, I'm only concerned about my full video screen and my second video screen. So I'm gonna disable all this stuff at the top because I only care about the slide and the media. So you're using the slide layer and the media layer to pull this off. So what you're gonna do is enable on one of your screens the slide layer and on the second video screen the media layer. So you're just doing opposite. One has the slide and not the media and one has the media and not the slide. So you go ahead and uh, set that up like that. All right, so now we're gonna set up our stage display screen to display that second video. So we're going to go to the stage editor and then we're just going to go ahead and add a blank template here and then we're going to add a screen preview of our second video. So whatever you call this uh, when you make the placeholder, whatever you call your placeholder is what you're going to want to select here. So you're going to do the screen preview of the second video and then obviously you got a couple options here you could make this full screen and it would just act as a second output that you can send somewhere or if you're truly using this as your stage display you know maybe you don't want it to fill the entire screen because you still need a clock on here or whatever so you could obviously just do this maybe make this a little bigger and then you would have your second video here and your clock still showing there all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this blank slide here and I'm gonna take my first green countdown and I'm gonna drag it in as a new slide I'm gonna apply the look so I'm gonna go to add action audience look to videos all right, and now I'm gonna edit the slide. And on top, I'm gonna to go ahead and add the media layer. So I'm gonna go plus media. And I'm gonna add my second countdown video. Now I already have this loaded in, so I'm just gonna say use existing. So you can see now on top, you've got the purple countdown. And underneath, you've got the green countdown. So they're on different layers. 
So if I go back to my show, you only currently see the purple countdown, but we just, you know, I just showed you that the green is underneath. So it should be as simple as doing this, these steps. I added that special look that I created after I created the second screen. And now I'm gonna activate it and I'll show you over in my preview window what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna show you how this works now by uh, executing it. So you can see I'm just gonna uh, press play on this one slide just by clicking it. And you can see in my preview window, I'm looking at my stage screen. The stage screen sees the purple countdown video. And then if I go over to my second video layer, I have the green countdown video rolling. So you could, you know, route these to two different places. This obviously could be going to your stage TVs and they see this specific video. In this layer, you could route to your video switcher, which could be going to your main projectors, your main TVs, and the audience would see the green layer. So that's just a real quick explanation of how you can get two separate videos to play out a per presenter at one time. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.